similar Germantown. We are in Germantown, Wisconsin, United States of America, and we are about to enter the factory where the world's largest and most powerful outboard is built. A few days ago, we were in Arco, in the province of Trento, Italy, where one of the plants of ZF Marine, a leading German-based ZF company in transmission systems, is located. The largest and most powerful outboard engine in the world is built by Seven Marine, a small, one-of-a-kind American company. For the transmission, they turn to ZF Marine. Here are the gears that allow you to change direction. All this could be trivial if it was not that this system has to endure 627 horsepower. Testing is performed on all the units one by one. All the functions are tested, precise, careful operation that guarantees the highest quality and reliability. Now see how it's done. The engine block has eight cylinders, arranged in a V, with a cylinder angle of 90 degrees. The distribution is quite simple. Two valves per cylinder, driven by push rods and rocker arms. The displacement is 6,162 cubic centimetres and is all made of aluminium. It derives from the engine that General Motors produces for cars and Seven Marine has developed it to deliver 627 horsepower at 5,500 RPM with a maximum torque of 813 newton metres. It is supercharged with a volumetric compressor with intercooler. It weighs 497 kilograms. Seven has created special combustion chambers and a fuel injection system that makes it very efficient. Directly connected to the engine, there is the ZF Marine transmission that is available with different reduction ratios to better suit the boat. Choosing the right gear is very important for performance, reducing fuel consumption, and in this regard, Seven Marine and ZF Marine have endless experience. From the reduction gear comes the transmission shaft that transfers the rotation to the bevel gear set that is located in the torpedo. The whole kinetic chain of this engine must be robust, not only to withstand the 627 horsepower, but also for other reasons. And to discover them, we go to Florida. A Seven Marine outboard engine is an object that is amazing, not only for its size, but also for its look. It is fascinating and technical. They built countless versions, personalized and colorful, even illuminated. But it is not its look that makes it unique, but rather its power. 627 horses. So we have four. So 2,508 horses applied to the transom of this Hydra Sports Custom 53 Suenos. It is an amazing boat, the most powerful center console in the world. Two throttle controls and a joystick to control four engines. Behind this system is the ZF Marine Electronics. Okay, okay, let's start by turning the keys and listening to the noise of these seven marine engines. We'll insert the forward gear. Have you heard anything? No, because here, this gearbox is very special. You do not notice the characteristic clack, like all the other outboards. The clutch has five discs, it is hydraulic, electronically controlled, and the gears are beveled for a gentler, softer engagement. In addition, with this type of transmission, the joystick command works very well because it is possible to insert the clutches differently for each engine, both forward and backward. Look, 
Now let's do a rotation of the boat. With four engines this powerful, I have control of these 16 meters with just two fingers on one hand. It's fantastic. The clutch slip is also useful for fishermen because it allows to control the minimum speed of the boat for trawling, for example, to follow a school of fish. No outboard engine has a gearbox so evolved and then while all the other outboards have a reduction ratio, which is the ratio between the number of revolutions of engine and the number of fixed axis propeller revolutions, but here it can vary, so you can change the gears to adapt the engine to each boat to get the best performance and use less fuel. The reduction ratio can be chosen between 1.47 and 2.35. A lot of power, but also a lot of comfort, because the roar of the engines is sweet. Indeed, at the moment, you hear mostly the sound of the wake, not the sound of the discharges. About discharges, it was not easy to achieve, because they had to find a way to contain the noise, but also to reduce counter-pressure. Very important for the reliability of an engine so powerful. And then naturally, they have sought to increase performance, and they had to cool all of this power. In short, it's a very complex work. Now we are at cruising speeds. We also increase a uh, trim just a little. I think that we can afford to change the attitude of the hull already at 20 knots, raise it out of the water a bit. Here, like this. Oh yes, the RPM has increased, the speed as well, and I've not touched the throttle levers. Fantastic! I have to follow this corridor carefully in the lagoon around the Isla Morada, one of the Florida Keys. We are at 25 knots, the engine's at 2,800 RPM, 240 litres of consumption total overall, which means 60 litres per engine for each operating time. The gearbox being at the top of the engine gives another important advantage, because it allows the gear's size in the immersed part. This means having a slender foot, more hydrodynamic, so less resistance. In short, power is important, but you must also be able to run the boat without too much friction. Little by little we increase the gas. The engine's effort increases continuously. By the way, we are at 3,800 RPM, 440 litres per hour and 38 knots. It can happen that while running, especially over some waves, the propeller comes out of the water. Then suddenly it's blown into the void at two, three thousand or even more turns. Then, in an instant, it finds itself submerged again in the water. The impacts are violent and the propeller must immediately return to pushing the boat, which in this case weighs about 15 tonnes, considering the hull and its load. In short, at the moment, at that moment of impacts, the forces are terrible. We never consider these aspects, and yet they are important. We have fun, but the engine does not. The engine is fatigued. And now maybe this time has come to go full speed, throttle down, raise the trim. Let's see how this steering system behaves as well. Fabulous, wonderful, fantastic control. Speed continues to grow and I raise the trim a little more. Do you hear the roar increase? Okay. 
59 nodi, 5,500 giri minuto. Very well. OK, 52 knots, 5,500 RPM. Still a little bit more. Yes, yes, it keeps coming out of the water. 54 knots. What a wake. This is not just the world's most powerful outboard. This is a milestone in the history of marine engines. This is an engine that's a bit like this boat. Suenos, a dream. <laughs> 